Inspired by the majestic granite peaks of Mount Kinabalu, the mountain and its surrounding rainforest was gazetted as Sabah's first park in 1964. Since then, two other terrestrial and six marine parks have been gazetted to protect their own unique habitats. In Sabah Parks, we aspire to be world-class in park management. Our vision is for the people of Sabah to live in harmony with nature. Our mission is to preserve areas in Sabah that contain outstanding natural values as a heritage for the benefit of the people now and in the future. Sabah Parks is a statutory body governed by a board of trustees under the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Environment. Sabah Parks is administered from its headquarters in Kota Kinabalu, where critical planning and policies are formulated to manage the parks throughout Sabah. Enforcement units ensure the parks are protected and visitor safety maintained at the highest level. Research in the fields of botany, marine flora and fauna, zoology and entomology has contributed immensely towards Sabah Park's educational and awareness programs. Collaborating with international conservation organizations create opportunities to participate in global initiatives to protect the planet's natural areas. The parks of Sabah were gazetted to preserve vital habitats for the survival of plant and animal life and for recreation. Meticulous planning and development is Sabah Park's top priority to achieve a sustainable future for its parks. The first park, gazetted in 1964, was Kinabalu Park, a vast landscape of lowland and highland rainforest harboring an astounding variety of flora and fauna. Mount Kinabalu, the crown jewel of Kinabalu Park, is a masterpiece of creation and a major tourist attraction that draws a steady stream of researchers, adventurers and nature lovers to its rainforest-covered slopes and stunning granite summit plateau, inspiring wonder for its sheer enormity of shape and presence. The iconic beauty of Mount Kinabalu is unrivaled and is the most recognizable natural wonder of Sabah. The beautiful islands of Tunku Abdul Rahman Park have made it one of the most popular parks for day trippers. Turtle Islands Park is an incredibly special place where visitors are given the privilege to witness one of the most amazing works of nature with a little help from humans. The entire life cycle of the sea turtle is showcased in an informative interpretation center and before your eyes as turtles come ashore to lay their eggs on the beach. Conservation efforts ensure the turtles and eggs are protected and given the best chance at survival into the next generation. Pulau Tiga Park's unique landscape was created by erupting mud volcanoes which continue to spew mud to the surface, creating mud pools valued for their therapeutic properties. Tawau Hills Park is the second terrestrial park to be gazetted in 1979 for the main purpose of protecting it as a water catchment area and as a sanctuary for plants and wildlife to thrive. The rainforest is dense, 
humid and abundant with a variety of flora and fauna on the ground and in the canopies. Rivers, waterfalls and clear pools beckon tired travelers to sit and admire Mother Nature at its best and most beautiful. As the largest and least explored terrestrial park, Crocker Range Park holds immense potential for new discoveries. Tunsakaran Marine Park is an outstanding example of symbiotic relationship between people and the environment, unified in the goal to preserve both for future generations. The islands, remnants of an extinct volcano, are one of the most stunning locations in Sabah, famed for its panoramic views and aquamarine waters. Conservation work in this marine ecosystem helps keep the balance between protecting the environment and preserving the livelihood and cultural identity of the sea gypsies, seafarers born of the sea and tied to it for life. Sipadan Island was gazetted as a park in 2009. To protect its status as one of the richest marine biodiversity hotspots in the world and as a world-class dive island. As the island sits back in tranquil idleness above water, down below it is teeming with marine life rising up from the depths on this oceanic island to play amongst the corals and amaze divers with their grace and magnificence. Tun Mustafa Park is uniquely positioned at the meeting point of two seas with incredible beaches, unique marine habitats and inherent cultural heritage. Indigenous communities are an integral part of any natural habitat, sharing the same resources as plants and animals to live and prosper. Collaboration between Sabah parks and local communities, relevant government agencies and research partners serve to strike a balance between conserving the environment for its biological diversity and improving the quality of life of local communities living in and around the parks. Climate change has been recognized as one of the planet's greatest survival challenges of the future. Sabah Parks has taken the initiative to contribute towards the understanding of this phenomenon through its many research collaborations using its parks as research and monitoring centers. The increase in visitor numbers to the parks has undoubtedly benefited Sabah's tourism industry, but it has also given rise to increased challenges for park managers to balance public access to parks with negative impacts on visitor experience and on the environment. Sabah Park's excellence in park management and creation of iconic attractions within its park's system will be further enhanced to create a more sustainable and harmonious balance of nature and people. Sabah Park's human resource will engage more actively in refocusing its research strategies and energizing its nature education programs to generate greater awareness of the park's environmental objectives. The future of Sabah Parks is the shared vision of all its stakeholders, the managers to protect and conserve, and the people to support these initiatives for their benefit. <laughs>